come inside, come inside. Come inside. Bit dark here, but you guys can. And the finishing part of it, plastering, blah blah blah. I'll do other videos. About. Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In case you're new, please subscribe, hit the like button, and press the notification bell so that every time I post a video, you're here to vibe with us. So this is the most wanted video, and I'm glad I'm going to be showing you. But it will be in parts because it won't take one day to build this. So I'll be videoing one part, second part, third part. I don't know how many parts there will be, but this is our first part. So this is what they do when you're going to construct a grass such house. This is the first step, which is digging of the hole. So our grass such house, most of them are round, but they're going to ask the engineer to tell us more about it. So they're going to be looking like the other one in the background. But let me ask him. Samuel, how are you? I'm okay. Okay, so yeah. you're going to tell us how long have you been building houses here in the village? Uh, very so many here, like 15 years. 15 years, yeah. wow, so you have an experience, right? Enough experience. Okay, so what do you need to build to set up this aggressive house? Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. you need to dig this hole, mm. and then secondly, uh, you bring poles. There's mm. pole, eh? they this cheap, eh? mm. and, and you put them around 20 in this hole. So are these 20 holes? There will be 20 holes. So do the holes determine how how big the hut will be? Exactly. So this is a big one, a big this house? a big one, yeah. Okay, what about if I want a kitchen? How many holes do you need to do the small kitchen? Uh, around 16 to 18. Okay. So anyway, guys, as you can see, these are the holes. Did you measure? So how, like, is it circle? Do you measure circle or you measure? Because this is like square. Square. Yeah. So guys, you have to measure square and then you make, but then it's going to be round. No, mm. not with this side, not with this side of the car. Break some corner, mm. a little bit corner will be made here. Mm. Yeah. So guys, this is our first step. And the second step will be putting the poles in and I'll be showing you. So we can stop here for now. So guys, this is a pit latrine. Every time you're building a house, you have to make sure you first do a pit latrine. It's deep down. So you're going to be building it also. Then I'll show you how it is done. But it's always a pit latrine first as required by the government of Uganda. So guys, after the digging of the holes, they will put these poles. In my language, they are called condo. So the condo are the main, main poles that will give the support to the entire roof. So they'll be putting the roof on top, but they need this. You can see there are bigger ones and the smaller ones. So the bigger ones are called condo. They are the ones that can support the entire house to stand. Fine. How is the work going? The work is going. Mm. Now we're in the second step now. Okay. Things I can see, eh? Yes, I'm seeing. Yes. So after this one, mm. they're going to take reeds. What's called reeds, eh? Mm. Uh, they're going to line them like this. Like a five line, I think, from here up to downward here. Mm. Four line to five line. Okay. Yes. Turn your back to the sun, sir. You want to do what? Turn your back with the sunshine. Okay. That will be tomorrow. Eh? Mm, I will be coming. Yes. So, on Monday, mm. shall go straight away to the roof to roofing. Okay. Yes. At the third step. Eh? Mm. Yes. <coughs> so, I think. Okay. Just like that. Eh? Okay. So guys, this will be our door as you can see. So that is the door and that will that will be where someone is entering and they'll make a provision for the window as we shall be seeing. Mm. So guys, this is where we are we are at now. Last time I showed you when they had put the poles, I think. So after putting the poles, you get these reeds, these ones. You tie them with a size so as you can see. 
these are the sizes these ones so you basically get side by side and tie and tie show them from down upwards and So let's go there and enter inside and we show you inside before they put the roof i'll also show you after when they put the roof and then they will put the grass they'll put everything so let's come, 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 come. Mm. so then this is the door they always make the door provision and you guys always complain, why are your doors so down, down, down? This one is not that bad. So this is the door. And trust me, it's enough. It's not that down, just do like this. It's because now the grass will be like up to here. That's when you have to bend. So this house, might it's going to look like the other ones there not really round round it's like it's square not square like yeah a bit like a cone it's like a cone eh? yeah it's a cone shape those are the shapes of the houses and people who build this you have to cook for them food every day and even pay them for their labor but if you have a husband who knows how to build the house it means you don't have to pay so basically most people don't pay for to build these houses the man will go and look for these poles and the lady will go and get the grass in the bush and then if you know how to construct it you don't have to spend any penny and the day of putting the mud here that you'll be seeing soon you just call the community and give them food and they'll do it for you free of charge but these days if you can't do that you have to just hire people you pay them for the labor you buy all this so it's really expensive it can cost you up to like 600 six to seven hundred us dollars to build that's like two point something million Ugandan shillings to build this as you see let me say two million to build this house if you're buying purchasing everything yeah so let me tell you in uganda if you're building a house the first thing you have to do is to do a latrine i've showed you the pick latrine but this is the progress now on it these are the good issues. No! Let me go and put your water. Yeah, that's good. Hey, that's good. So guys, this is the pit latrine. We have done. We are done with the downer part. I showed you. So it's about now. It's now. What is remaining is building it up. We are going to build it and then we put the shelter on it. And yeah, there are two. For the bathroom, it's not anyone's worry. In this village, you can literally shower from outside at night. Or you can just put like a blind during the day and you shower. You've seen our kinds of bathrooms. So, the concern is always a latrine. Because if you don't have a latrine, the government will do what? Will ask you to build one by force. So they have put some ashes here, I think, to make it firm. I fear. So, and then they sprinkle some water every time so that it can be firm, firm, firm. So guys, see you. This video is going to be long because we still have the part of putting the mud, the part of sashing the grass sash. Yeah. But for now, let me stop here and wash out for another part. <laughs> So when they put the reeds, they will dig the soil and put some water in it, leave it to stay for two days. After, then they will come and mix it, as you can see, and put it in the reeds to make the wall. Unfortunately, I will not be showing you when they are making the wall because I traveled that day. After, after shooting this, I had to travel. When I came back, they had finished. They literally did it in only one hour because there were many. So I didn't get a chance of videoing when they were putting the mud, but I videoed after.
You guys have always asked me what men do in my village. I hope now you can see what men do. This work is not really done by women. It's only done by men, as you can see. You never find a woman digging this soil for building. They can, the women can only do the grass, but when it comes to this, it's the men that do it. <laughs> So guys, this is day number, I don't know which day, but I've messed up with the video. Last time when I came, they were making the mud from the other side. So this is what they did in my absence. I'm so sorry that I didn't, I didn't show you when they were doing that. But that's the progress now, and they are now roofing. So roofing, this is what they do. That's first thing they do. They use the scissors to do this on the can. So I'm going to show you inside but this is what they do after doing this mud some people first do the roofing and then they do the downer part like the mud bit of it but first they first did the mud and then they are doing the roofing so come let's go inside So that's the end. I'm going to be showing you inside, but that's how it looks like for now. So guys, okay, come and I show you this. This one, they put it for support when they are put in the door. The dog is already here. Oh. So this is the dog. So there is a wind. You guys have been asking me why. They always leave this part for aeration and then the window here. This is the window. Make it to the So they will remove all these parts and you will have a window put there. This is a very big house actually compared to these other houses. And then show them the roof also. So guys, these ones are the grass that we are going to be using to search it. Because they are grass searched house, but I don't know if the process the process is called searching. Yeah. So this is what the women do. They tie them in two bundles from the big hip there to these small bundles like this. So basically you hold a band like this. So when you get this, get any. Mm. You do like this. And then you tie. So this is what they will put up a 
and see others are here. All this one. I'm already tied into small bundles from those big hips. And they will pull them on top. I will show you the process. So don't worry. But for today, let's stop here. Mostly they use this. The size of this one has a lot of work like uses when it comes to building the house they use this instead of um nails yeah they use this so let's go and see up what they are doing on the roof then i'll tell you what next the next day okay. when it comes to the roof they also do the red part of it they put the reds both inside and out as you'll be seeing both inside and out so that they can be tying the grasses on it and uh, secondly it will look nice when it's done so that is the process right now i hope you're learning what we are doing step by step so these are the engineers that are working on the roof Today they are putting the roof. That's the grass. You saw how we did the grass. So it came late. They had already put the first layer, but you can see from here. So they have to align the grasses, but they always start at the base, like the downer line, which is the widest, and they put them properly, as you'll be seeing. This is the one that they have finished, but they will still do some other finishing. They will remove all these things and back it together. So they always put them this side and then remove one by one and fix them. So it's easier like that. So let's have a look on how it looks like now. So from inside, this is how it looks like.
so we are still putting the first layer and then i'll show you guys when they're almost done but for now we can stop here let me give you the whole view of the house for now how it looks like and that's how it looks like i'll keep on showing you up to the end subscribe your like button and press the notification bell bye hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel in case you're new please subscribe your like button and press the notification bell so that every time i why am i saying that this is a continuation of a video anyway so today we are doing our last job on this house then i'll be done with the first things that we do on the house like when you build you just build bricks and you put the roof so that's what we have done and the finishing part of it plastering blah 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 i'll do other videos about it but for now this is the last session of the house so this is our last i'm going to show you how i ride this motorcycle for those who have been on my channel you know that i can ride do they say riding anyway so you come and help me remove these things and we put them there This will be a video of its own, so I don't. You can. So, guys, this is the almost the last bit of it. So, last time we left when they were just putting the first line, but now you can see they have put up up there one two three four five six lines one line remaining then they will be done with this they'll be done with this and then come inside come inside, come inside. oh it's a bit dark here but you guys can stay there the house is almost housing it's almost housing <laughs> So as we finish, they have to plaster it again with mud and then put black soil on it. And then we do the floor. And then my auntie will be ready to enter in this house. Okay. Let me close. So that was it for this house building. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and press the notification bell. Bye. Take photos.